Hello everyone, I'm Arkansas Storm Team Meteorologist Alex Libby and in this weather blog we are recapping all the tornadoes that have impacted Arkansas so far in the year 2024. There have been 11 tornadoes so far this year. I'm going to be talking about how that stacks up to years past, how that stacks up to the average as numbers far as far as number of tornadoes so far in the year. Again, I'm recording this on May 9th. And like I said, so far we have 11 tornadoes in the state of Arkansas, and we're going to talk about each one. So you can see we have several EF1, that's the most common type in the yellow shade there. We have a couple of EF2 tornadoes that both occurred in Garland County, and then an EF0 in parts of southwest Arkansas, and that white one in Carroll County, that's up on the top of your screen, in north Arkansas and Carroll County, that is an EF unknown. So we're not able to find any damage, but let's talk about it as far as the first through the last. So the first one occurred in Saline County. It's that yellow one right in the middle of Arkansas, and that ended up being an EF1 tornado with a path length of 2.5 miles, and it impacted the East End community. The second one of the year occurred not until March 14th, so we went from February 9th all the way to March 14th without a tornado, and that was that EF2 in Garland County that really impacted Hot Springs Village, and that had a path length of 8.5 miles. That's that one on the northern part of Garland County, the orange one there. And then after March 14th, we didn't have another one until April 2nd. So a pretty slow start with only three tornadoes from January 1st all the way through April 2nd. That one occurred up in northern Arkansas in Benton County. It was an EF1. And another one occurred, the same EF1, the same day, same time, basically in Benton County. Those are the two yellow ones at the very top of your screen there in far northwest Arkansas in Benton County. Then after that, we didn't have a tornado from April 2nd all the way through April 27th because our fifth occurred on April 28th in Lafayette County. That's in southern Arkansas. We also had two of them that day. So our fifth and sixth were in Lafayette County and both were EF1s. That was on April 28th. We also had another one on April 28th in northern Arkansas. So in southern Arkansas and northern Arkansas that day, that one was the EF Unknown. Again, that was on April 28th in Carroll County. That's the white one on your screen. And then we go from April 28th to May 5th. So just a few days later, we had a tornado in Sevier County in southern Arkansas. That was an EF Zero. And it didn't have any path length. No measurable path length could be found. But there was a video of that tornado briefly touching down. And then the ninth tornado occurred on May 7th in Washington County, along with the 10th tornado as well in Crawford County, and then we had our 11th tornado, which was another EF2 in Garland County. So, so far in 2024, Garland County has been hit the hardest with two EF2 tornadoes. Now, the important part, at least what I think is very important with this tornado season so far, zero injuries caused by tornadoes, zero deaths caused by injuries caused by the tornadoes here in Arkansas. And as far as how it stacks up to years past, well, I think in 2023, we had 20 tornadoes by this time, so nine more. 2022, we had 22 tornadoes by this time, so 11 more tornadoes. So overall, it's definitely starting below normal, quieter start, a calmer start to the tornado season. It's actually the quietest tornado season start or quietest start to the year as far as number of tornadoes goes since 2015 when we only had five and that year ended up with 20. So I think it's a good sign that we're starting quiet and hopefully we end this year with really no more tornadoes, but more importantly, hopefully we end this year with no tornado injury or tornado deaths. So it's been a quiet 2024. Let's hope that continues.